All right, y'all, we're going to get started. Thanks again for the hot the live music. So glad to see you all here. Thank you so, so much for being here. Again, this is our 14th week doing Politically Charged Mondays. Um, we're glad you're here. We hope you're doing well. Please make sure that you're using the chat. We want to hear from you. Today's going to be a little bit more interactive and a little bit different than what we've done in the past. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. Um, make sure that you're applying to all of the panelists and not just the um, to all the attendees and panelists, not just the panelists or just the attendees. I don't know if that's even an option, but um, but we want to hear from you. Come off of a mute and tell us a highlight of your weekend. So I want to hear from everyone since we're a small, intimate group tonight. And I will call you if you don't volunteer. That's not a threat. That's just a promise. Um, thank you for being on Facebook, whoever's there. We appreciate you joining us and make sure you're sharing and broadcasting it on your page. Um, we're going to get started. And here we go. Let's see. I also want to thank the volunteers who are helping us with tech support tonight. And then, of course, our lovely cast of regulars at NASLIB. So let's get started. What is a highlight from this weekend? Let's go with Gabe. So we had a, one of our friends that's moving in with us. And it was really good to see them for the first time since the pandemic started. But then also they brought their 93-pound dog with them. And so we played with a puppy all weekend. That, that dog... 93 pounds is no longer a puppy, sir. I'm sorry to have to tell you. <laughs> what kind of dog is that? German Shepherd, Husky, and Golden Retriever. Holy heavy poops, Batman. <laughs> 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 well, cool. Congratulations on the new family moving in and on the new um, baby that moved into your home. <laughs> That's awesome. What about Bruce? highlights of my weekend um resting um after uh after an amazing week of action um from mass live and some wins and some accountability that we you know we had to show up and hold to some folks and so it was just good to to rest and then mother's day you know got to send out all the mother's days and you know call my mom and then uh, spend Mother's Day with uh, my son and my partner, and it was dope. It was dope. Just relax. So beautiful. Nice to hear that Superman closes his eyes every so often. That's dope. <laughs> Never knew that happened. All right. Hi, Vanessa. How about you? How was your weekend? Hey, my weekend was great. Lots of Mother's Day activities, and you know, I have three kids, so lots of celebrating. And then uh, my birthday is tomorrow. So I'll be turning 40. So my mom is, my mom is here and we're doing all of that birthday stuff. And she went into labor on mother's day and was sad. She couldn't finish her strawberry shortcake. So <laughs> <laughs> are you going to make her one while she's here? Yes. Well, happy early birthday. You don't look 40, but 40 is the new 20. So go on ahead and let's um, hit that club sis. We're going to go to, I'm going to get you a gift certificate to forever 21 to get you an outfit just to stay with the theme. <laughs> Happy early birthday. Patricia, you're next. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. Um, this weekend was amazing because my beautiful team at Mass Lib helped me have the whole entire weekend off. So I didn't text anybody. I didn't Zoom anybody. I didn't plan anything. I just like laid around and did as little as possible. And it was a very, very beautiful two days. It felt like a whole month. Well, we need to plan more of that for you, Patricia. We need to give that to you more often. Thank you very much. And I'm, I'm happy you rested. I hope you get more. How about April? Okay, how about Ben and Chelsea? Hi, everyone. Um, I would say my favorite part of the weekend was being able to go to Gracie's. Um, we hadn't been since the pandemic and it was just that kind of like perfect, um, like quintessential dive bar experience with tater tots and cheap <laughs> foods and just like, it just like filled a perfect <laughs> little hole in my soul. But, yeah. And I love you. I think that was my favorite part of the weekend also. Um, we got fried pickles and for the first time someone tried to shoestring cut the pickles before they fried them and I thought this is good this is fun <laughs> so the chill weekend yeah yay for dive bar Sunday fun day um thank you for sharing y'all how about Helen 
What did you do this weekend? Um, let's see. This weekend, I did a lot of cleaning, and my husband and I put together an IKEA desk, and we didn't get a divorce. So I think we'll be all right. <laughs> oh, um, and just so like it was just hard because we had to like pull it apart like three times, and it, it was rough. It was a rough IKEA thing. <laughs> But um, other than that, I celebrated my mom, so I got to see her, but that was about it. I think that was the highlight. Just Oh, and I went to the uh, to Mekong Plaza finally for the first time, which was my first grocery trip outside of the pandemic. So yeah, I got some snacks. Yay, I love it. Yay for the Ikea love and not the Ikea divorce. <laughs> Anisha, how about you? see Dennis's mom for the first time in a year <laughs> so it was awesome we actually went to a patio and ate that was my first time at a restaurant also in a year <laughs> oh I love that I love that we're all feeling safe enough to venture out a little bit that's beautiful and what a more beautiful weekend to do it than Mother's Day the weather was pretty nice it was a little hot but all right Kelly you're up Hi, I enjoyed spending some time with my mom and my partner, and now I'm eating a little dinner with fresh garden tomatoes. They're really good. From your garden? Yeah, from the community garden. Oh, that's beautiful. Yay, enjoy your tomatoes. I um, thank yep. you for sharing, Kelly. I went to Tucson and took my mother to Tubac, which is a small town kind of by the border, and went shopping for she likes like Mexican artists and stuff. So we went shopping for that stuff and got her some pots and ordered a bench for her. I love Tubac too. I love it so much. I got Tupac and Tubac. Me and my brother decided to get thug. I don't know what the hell we were thinking, but we sure got Tupac and Tubac. Um, got to hug my mother a real hug for the first time in a very, very, very long time. My brother was here. We spent some time with friends and family. And then last night I got together with my core little group of friends that we've been friends since we were probably in grade school. Most of them still live in Tucson, but we haven't been in company in over a year. And so, yeah, that red cup got me y'all, but I'm here. Hi, here I am everyone. <laughs> All right, let's get started with our program today. And so we are going to do something fun and I'm going to, um, I, let me, let me say, I hope it's fun for you. We created, um, a Jeopardy, an abolitionist Jeopardy game. And so this is gonna be very interactive. I need you to have your hands ready to pop your hand up because that's your buzzer. And the first person whose hand I see is the person who gets to answer the question. Let's hope this works. If not, we will of course correct really quickly and find a way to see who gets to go first. So is everyone familiar with Jeopardy? Just a thumbs up or, oh, hi baby, look at Rumi, hi. Oh, okay, so yeah, raise your hand. Um, I'm not sure how that is going to work. Or whoever just, yeah, raise your hand. Let's try that first. So Jeopardy is, I am Alex. You are all the audience. And so if you, Alex Trebek, right? So if you um, want to answer, then you call the category and then pick a number underneath. So like alphabet for 100 or gray t-shirt for two for 400, something like that. Are we all okay with that? Yes? Okay. It's hard because I don't see faces right now, so I'm going to share screen and hope for the best. <laughs> Where is my jam board? Okay, hold on. Okay. Let's see how this works. Can you see my screen? Hey, Zoraida. Yes. Since you're sharing your screen, um, are you... I don't know if you're going to be able to see people raise their hand. So do you want me to tell you who raises their hand? Yes, that would be lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, here we go, y'all. Can y'all see the board? This is Abolitionist Jeopardy. Do we have to pay for that if I do that? <laughs> Call it Zeopardy. <laughs> oh, this is Abolitionist Zeopardy. <laughs> All right, contestants, who would like to go first? Somebody raise your hand. Oh, and I see Helen. Oh, Helen, perfect. Okay, Helen, please pop off of mute. Tell me your category and the uh, the uh, value. I'm keeping. Straight. I 
will take 40th Street and Southern Project for 100, please. Okay, so that's coming up. Remember, your answer needs to be in the form of a question. 40th Street and Southern Project for 100. And your question is, South Mountain VPC member on and off over 10 years who vehemently opposed this rental project, also the owner of the farm at South Mountain. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I can't think of his name. <laughs> No, the pancake man too. The pancake man. <laughs> uh, who is the pancake? The eighteen dollar <laughs> pancake <laughs> man. <laughs> what? Can I phone? I I don't know who to call. I don't even have my cell phone on me. Oh man, I can't remember his name. Guys. Okay, I'll give you have value if you can tell us the running joke about the price of the, of said pancake man. It's it's eighteen dollar pancakes. I remember right, that. Eighteen dollar pancake. That's right. Anyone, just, anyone want to jump in and share and save Helen? Save me. Just go ahead and pop off mute. Pop off of mute. Greg Brunel. Who said that? Vanessa. Vanessa and Helen, you both get 50 points each. Thank you very much. Very, very nice ladies. All right. Who would like to go next? Raise your hand or just pop off the mute. I'll go. Who is that? Kelly. Hey Kelly, what category and what value? Drop the charges 100. Drop the charges for 100. And your question is, the Mass, the Mass Live Arizona action created to get charges dropped for falsely prosecuted protesters. What is the name of that action? The name of the action to get the false charges dropped. Is it text bank? Uh, that was a method, right? Okay. The drop the charges campaign. Yes. Drop the <laughs> charges MCAO. That's right. 100 points for you. Thank you. Thank you. Who would like to go next? Do I see drop the, the charge, Drop the charges for 200, please. Drop the charges for 200. The question is, the, or the answer is, the amount of arrests PPD made between May and November of 2020. 414. What, how, many, how many arrests were made? Were, how many is 414 as a number? I did it right, right? <laughs> I love the way that you fixed the question. Thank you. Ding, ding, ding. 200 points for Ben and Chelsea. All right, great job. Beautiful. Who's next? I see Vanessa raised her hand. Vanessa? Drop the charges rally and petition drop for 100, please. Uh, for 100? Yes. All right. Your answer is the first woman elected is Maricopa County attorney who deserves to be recalled for her heinous misconduct and lies pertaining to the protest cases. <laughs> that's a great, that's a great answer. <laughs> who is Alistair Adele? <laughs> ding, 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 $100. I mean, dollars, points, beautiful. Yay. <laughs> 100 virtual dollars, how about that? Okay, um, who's next? It looks like Kelly's ready to go. Petra, let's have Petra go. Okay, Pet okay, Petra. Hey. Hey. I will go with Mass Live Values Part 1 for 200. Oh, we're going for the gusto. Okay. All right. Because of love, because of the love, I'm sorry, I typed this and I'm horrible at typing, so there will be typos. Because of the love for our community and love for each other, we work through it and we don't walk away. What is that value? Oh, that's my favorite one. That's love and rigor. Answer in the form of a question, please. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> what is love and rigor? <laughs> I'm, I'm totally joking, Petra. Good job. 200 points for you. Thank you. Who's next? April wants to do Poppy for 100, please. Okay, Pop. Oh, yeah. Who's monitoring Facebook? Are there people on Facebook that want to do this too? 
Vanessa oh, will let us know. Okay, we'll work that out. Thank you. So for 100, a coalition of local organizations, community organizers, village planning committee members, residents of South Phoenix, and those who love the South Phoenix community. Are we responding in the chat? We think she's typing her answer. Okay, we think she's typing her answer. In the meantime, just hum that song in your brain, the Zeppardy song. <laughs> <laughs> said who is the people over property initiative yes yes who was that that responded april with the correct answer april with the correct answer for 100 beautiful who is next helen has her hand raised all right helen here we go i have to redeem myself <laughs> uh, can I have Mass Live Values Part 1 for 100, please? Part 1 for 100. Here we go. The closest to the pro the answer is the those closest to the problem are closest to the solution. Uh, what is We Center leadership of directly impacted people? Yes, Queen. Yes. Helen with the Redemption 100. Come on. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Don't be afraid of the big ones, y'all. I'm going to come up with the prize for the winner. Anisha raised her hand. All right, Anisha. All right, I'll take Mass Live Values Part 2 for 100, please. Okay, Anisha, here we go. The value, we, we, we value lives over things and know that the human condition is far more valuable than money can buy. I swear. Ooh, what is... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I read that all wrong, but you know what I meant to have said. <laughs> I hear it. Um, what is people before property? That's right. Anisha for 100. Love it. Thank you. Who's next? Ben and Chelsea, raise their hand. Let's go, Ben and Chelsea. All right. Let's do drop the charges for 300. Drop the charges for 300. Your answer is the liaison supervisor for FRB, which stands for Patricia? The First Responders Bureau out of MCAO. Oh, thank you. The First Responders Bureau out of MCAO that was trying to secretly harass protester, protest support, excuse me, on socials. However, he used a real picture of himself in his profiles. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. That's funny, um, but I don't think I know the answer. Taking a blanket. I don't know the answer either. Taking a blanket is We're not the answer. Anyone else want to take? Thank you for trying. Anyone else want? To, anyone else want to take the stab? And Vanessa, can you see if anyone on Facebook remembers? And they're asking if you can repeat the questions, Zoraida. Absolutely. The, the answer is the liaison supervisor for FRB out of MCAO that was trying to secretly harass protest supports on socials. However. He used a real picture of himself in his profiles. Dum, da dum, dum. This is a good one. Patricia, would you like to give our friends a hint? Um, ooh, what hint can I give? Not Nick, that's a good guess. Um, not the Gilbert detective, another good guess. Um, I mean, my only hint is he's a bald-headed, angry, terrible, anti-Black white man. <laughs> There's so many of them, Patricia. It's like not even a good hint. You can see his terrible face, I know. Okay, his name, his first name starts with a T. It is like every cop, Helen, you're so right. Sounds like what? Let's let's mix sh uh, charades with Je with Zeppardy. Sounds like. Sounds like. Um, sounds like Thom. <laughs> <laughs> 
So it's like thom. Anyone else want to take a try? Because if not, we're just going to um, move on and have Patricia tell us the response or the question. And Patricia, the question is? Who? Yeah, who is Tom Van Dorn? And this was really just me being super petty by putting this question in there. There's really, I guess now that I think of it, there's no real reason you all would remember this fool, but I did want to mention that he is that stupid, that he was literally talking trash to our lawyers and protesters, and he had his actual real face in, in Instagram and Facebook social, like the profile pic. So yeah, everybody remembers now. Tom Van Dorn, remember him. <laughs> all right, thank you, Patricia. I love the petty. Listen, no, I'm never above the petty. All right, who, who would like to be next? We're almost there, y'all. Any takers? Oh, we got Vanessa. And then Helen, you'll get the next question. You're on mute, friend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take drop the charges for drop the charges and petition drop. Drop the charge of rally and petition drop for 200 and go okay. long track. All right, here we go. The answer is this is the amount of petitions that were delivered to MCAO on Thursday. I'm going to have to Google that really quick. Um, oh, I should know this off the top of my head. It is close. It is it is over over um, over 5000 and I um, and I, I would like to um, um, phone a, a friend or look it up very quickly and pretend like I'm having an internet issue. <laughs> 5,285. 5,285 for the win. I would like to also have Anisha pop off the mute and let us know how heavy and how many boxes that was that she was schlepping all the way to the office. How many and how heavy was that? There were five boxes, two large boxes and, or no wait, four boxes it was a lot of boxes it took three of us to do it wow well thank you for all the sweat blood sweat and tears like literally blood sweat and tears getting that done thank you vanessa good job you got another 200 points and who's next oh wait helen's next i'll take a dtc rally and petition drop for 400. Oh, 400, okay, I love it. All right, let me get this deleted. And the answer is disband the First Responders Bureau, pay reparations to all people harmed by political prosecutions. What is your answer, your question? Um, what is a citizen's petition? No, that's not it. Aww, that's man. a really good answer, guess again. Uh, I'll give it to you again. The answer is disband the First Responders Bureau, pay reparations to all people harmed by political prosecutions. The question is, what is reparations? No. It's one uh, of our values, right, Patricia? Uh, you know, I feel like the, it, it was not a citizen's petition, but that was, I feel like she, the answer is in there. Like she knows it's a demand. Mm -hmm. So okay. I would, I would be given points on that if I was out. Okay, Helen, 400 for Helen. <laughs> you those can are, give me half. The <laughs> answer is those are two of the demands from the official drop the charges campaign. Okay. 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 And, it and just. FYI, the citizens' petitions were um, mostly city-level demands, and these were for the county. Mm. I love okay, the fact checking okay. in our Zeopardy game. I love it how quick and immediate it is. Come on, fact checker. Come on. Who's <laughs> next? Thank you, Helen. We're getting closer. Kelly. All right, Kelly. And then Petra, you're next. Let's finish that category, rally and petition drop 300. All right. Your answer is, this is the amount of, oh wait, sorry. Drop all charges against prosecutors with prejudice and political prosecutions. What is your question? Mm. 
Mm. Wait, so Ryder, read it one more time because you said yes. prosecutor instead of protester and that might be super confusing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, shame on me, Alexa Trebek. Here we go again. Drop all charges against protesters with prejudice and political prosecutions. Hmm. That didn't change it a lot for me. Um, I'm gonna say those are demands um, and demands to MCAO. Yes, Queen, yes. That is 400 points. Oh gosh. Really clock. Yay. That was lucky. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. All right, I think it was Petra to follow you. Yes. Um, let's go with Mass Live Values Part 2. 300. Come on. All right, here we go. Money that goes into caging people should go into strengthening our communities. What is your question? Or what is your value, I should say? It's, it's um, redistribution. No, no, no. It's justice redistribution? Oh, close. Justice reinvestment? Yes. Yep. Is that yes. okay? Cool. Three hundred. Nice. All right, Petra, you got three hundred points. Who is next? We're down to the wire, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh! Is that wow. you volunteering, Vanessa? <laughs> We're getting close, y'all. We have um, about three more, five more minutes to finish this out. And we've got several questions. We don't have to finish it, but that's okay. Vanessa's hand is up. And I see Ben, and who else? Oh, Ben and Chelsea, you're next. And then April. Okay, Vanessa. What is your category and your amount? You're on mute, please. Or I do That's that. Okay. Um, as Lib values part one for 300. And I'm going to see if any of our Facebook friends, I'm going to sort of throw it out there if any Facebook friends um, want to answer this for Mass Lib values part one, 300. All right. Thank you. Mass Lib values part one for 300. By liberating Black people, we all get free. What is your value? Your Mass Lib value, because you know what you would know, we know you're priceless. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give our friends a second because I know that there's a delay. So we'll repeat it again. Okay. Um, the answer is by liberating Black people, we all get free. What is your mass live value? Oh, um, Kaylin on Facebook says we center Black liberation. And Karen came in right after saying centering Black liberation. So we have two Facebook friends that knew it. All right. Then both of them will get 300 points. Awesome. Come on, Facebook friends. All right, we've got um, Ben and um, Ben coming next. I saw Ben's hand. Ben and Chelsea. <laughs> it was my hand. Thank you for recognizing. <laughs> and I really appreciate that. <laughs> and I am very interested in Mass Lib Values Part 2, 400. Ooh, here we go. Going for the big dogs. All right. No matter what the harm, the carceral system is never the solution. <laughs> what is your mass live value? Uh, what is no one belongs in cages? That is close. I'm going to take that answer, but yes. Trisha, can you say the exact value? Oh, wait. Chelsea, do you have the exact response? I think what is caging people is never the answer. Yes. Yes. 600 points. Yeah. Beautifully done. I'll share. <laughs> All right, I believe April is next. She's in the chat. Let's see. What do you want to do, April? Which one? April is asking for Poppy for 200 points, please. Okay, Poppy for 200. We're the first formal view of a development project application that is open to the public happens. Members are appointed and forcibly removed by city council and the mayor. What is your question? I'll repeat it. 
where the first formal review of a development project is a development application, project application that is open to the public happens. Members are appointed and forcibly removed by city council and the mayor. What is your answer? April said, who is the South Village Planning Committee? And we're taking that answer. It's the South Mountain Village Planning Committee. And just FYI, there are many village planning committees all throughout Phoenix, but ours is the South Mountain Village. Well done, April. All right, April, you got uh, 200 more points. Who is next? We're getting close, y'all. Anisha has a hand up. Um, April's hand is still up. And I wonder, Vanessa, if there's anyone else on Facebook that wants to play another round. All right, let's go with Anisha now and let's see if April, if she doesn't take her hand down, that means she wants to answer another. So Anisha, you are up. I am scared, but I will take, drop the charges for 400. Don't be scared, don't be scared. Here we go. All right. The anti-Black, violently punitive prosecutor who is currently on administrative leave and was outed for her atrocious misconduct and outright lies in the protest cases. <laughs> Who is April Sponsor? That is right, Anisha with the 400 points. Zoraida, oh, are you laughing at my subtle answers? <laughs> I'm laughing because I, yes, yes. It's hard to get it out without laughing all the way through. That is amazing. Oh, wow. Thank you, Anisha, and thank you, Patricia, for that very descriptive, very subtle response. All right, we've got, um, it looks like six more, so let's try to muscle through. I'll give you all three more minutes, and then we'll have to stop so we can get through the rest of our agenda. Oh, that's a lie. I'll probably give you longer. All right, April? Is she in chat? Not yet. All right, how about I start calling people? Oh. Um, let's do April and then we can go to Facebook. So she said Maslib values for 200. Okay, Maslib values part two for 200 points. Your answer is, we seek liberation of all people despite of our differences, we do not discriminate. What is your Maslib value? The response again is, we seek liberation of all people despite our differences. We do not discriminate. April said, what is all of us or none of us? Yes, queen, 200 points, April. April's coming up, y'all. Y'all better stop being shy. She's getting close to the top. Oh, we got Facebook friends, Vanessa? Yep. So um, Kaylin would like to go and, and they would like to, to pick um, Finish out the values, part one. For 400, mask the values, part one for 400. Kaylin, your answer is, the system is designed to exploit poor, black, indigenous people of color. Therefore, the system as we know it cannot be repaired or reformed. What is your mask live value? All right, and we're gonna give Kaylin a minute to respond because I know there's a, a bit of a delay. With no Facebook. problem. I will read the answer again. The answer for 400 points is, the system is designed to exploit poor black indigenous people of color. Therefore, the system as we know it cannot be repaired or reformed. What is your mass live value? Kaylin's ready. Okay. What is the system isn't broken? It was designed this way. Karen for 400, winner chicken dinner. All right. Yeah, so that was, so Kaylin and Karen came in after and had, they both had the, the answer correct. Okay, well then I guess it looks like Kaylin and Karen and Karen are totally neck and neck. <laughs> All right, we got five to go. Let's try to make this quick and beautiful. Who's next? I'll start calling folks. Helen's hand is up. Let's go, Helen. I'll take uh, 40th Street and Southern for 300. Oh, okay. All right, your response, Helen, is the three spaces where a project gets voted on to be approved or not. Again, your response is the spaces where, the three spaces where a project gets voted on to be approved or not. What is your question? You can look over here, that might help. 
I can't see my screen really small. Oh, I see. Okay. Anyone want to help Helen? Because this is a yeah. three-part response. This is a tough one. There's three answers. So who can name at least one? Okay, we got Ben, ben and Chelsea and Kelly and Becca. So you've got some help. Yeah, you, you tell what me. is um, a village planning committee? That's 100 points for you, Kelly. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the 200. Oh no, we, we're still answering the, the, the 300 question for Southern 40th project. So we already have the SMVPC. What is the other two spaces where a project gets voted on to be approved or not approved? And I'll tell you that the second word is commission, if that helps. Anyone want to jump in? In case you, Kelly, I'm not taking you off yet, but if you are is stuck. There, like a safety commission? Oh, close, very close. Anyone Public else? Public health and safety commission? I'm sorry. Oh. Go ahead, Kelly. Never mind. Okay. Who else wants to take a stab? Or take a try. Petra okay. did mean the formal city council, which is correct. And April said Phoenix Planning Commission. So there's nice. our three. April and Petra get 100 points. And in Karen had in the Facebook chat, city council. Nice. Mm -hmm. Petra gets another 100 points. And who was the original answer of that question? Was that, was that April? Yes? Okay, so April, you'll get 100 too, because I'm very fair. <laughs> All right, um, Kelly, your hand is up, and Vanessa, you get the next one. My bad, I missed that earlier. Uh, the 40th and Southern 200. All right, so for 200 points, the answer is, a developer and community written agreement created to get the best interests of the surrounding community involved when developing land. What is your answer? Uh, what is a community benefit agreement? Yes, for 200, come through Kelly. All right, gosh, you're coming up on the rigs too. All right, Vanessa, thank you, Kelly. Got three to go. I'm going to also give my friends on Facebook a chance to answer if they would like. So um, I'm, I'll take I'll take a poppy for 300, please. Poppy for 300. Your answer is centers political education and base building focuses more on resource re redistribution and provide temporary, but of course, deeply necessary relief from violence of capitalism. Okay, so can I have you read that one more time? Absolutely. The answer to Poppy for 300 is, centers political education and base building, focuses more on resource redistribution and provides temporary, but of course, deeply necessary relief from the violence of capitalism. Okay, Kaylin on Facebook says, what is mutual aid? Yes, Queen. Yes, Queen. That's 300 points for Kaylin. Yay, Kaylin. Kaylin is killing the game. All right. All of you are killing the game. I love this. All right. Last two. We got um, Kelly, Vanessa. Oh, Kelly Quack, your hand is up. Oops, I didn't realize it, but I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Um, 40th and Southern, 400. 40th and Southern for 400. Double jeopardy, double jeopardy, double jeopardy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know why that tickles me so much. For 800 points in basically the game, more than half of votes are needed to get approval by, uh, to get approval of a city. Oh, sorry. Let me start all over. This is really small writing. Uh, more than half of votes are needed to get approval of a city a project at a city council, God, I'm reading this horribly, a tactic that the opposition might use to make it harder for something to pass. I'll read that again and, and try to do it like I have an education this time. More than half of votes are needed to get approval of a city, pro a, pro a project at a city council, a tactic that opposition may use to make it harder for something to pass. 
This is a hard one, but you're getting 800 points. Oh, I'm so nervous. Um, what about um, adding things to amend it? No, that is maybe also a tactic, but not the one we're looking for. Keep trying. Oh. Hmm. Anyone want to help her? Please do. <laughs> ben wants to help. I'm seeing head shake. Vanessa, do you want to help? Or our Facebook friends? You're on mute. Oh. Is it is it having having decorum or having the majority pass? There's like a specific. It's a two word answer. Okay. And one of them is, is it super? Is it super? You know, one of them is super. Form, yes. Super. Super majority? Majority, a super majority. Ding, ding. Okay, so Vanessa and Kelly get to split those points. Who would like to take the last one? April. Okay, April. Last question. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's Poppy for 400. Am I correct? <laughs> All right, here we go. Poppy for 400. The, the answer is the reverse migration of people of color moving or being pushed out to the suburbs and more white people are moving into the city. What is your answer? Are we answering in the chat, um, Patricia? Not yet. Um, yeah, April says gentrification. Um, yes, but Mass Lib uses, uh, we have a whole entire series that we talk about. Is that right? Yeah, it's right. We're, you're, we're getting closer, but what do we call, what, do we, what does Mass Lib call that? April is saying, what is displacement? Close. Karen on Facebook says gentrification. Close. It starts with an R and this is giving a hint. Yeah, it starts with an R and we use like a play on one of the most popular female based HBO series. I don't know what else I could not give it away. <laughs> Who else wants to help for, for 400 points in the end of, Zep of Abolition Zeopardy? Karen or desegregation. Yep, desegregation. Wait. All right, Karen, and who else said that? Was that Ben and Chelsea? No, I heard someone's voice say it. Who was that? Oh, Kelly, I think said said it. Kelly, did you say resegregation? Yes, she couldn't type it fast enough. Okay, perfect. So thank you all very much for indulging us in our little This is Abolition is Zeopardy game. Can I get some sprinkle fingers and a drum roll? We have a tie. The two people with the highest points are Karen with 1200 and Kelly with 1200. So I will be finding a way to gift you um, for all of your beautiful mass lib related knowledge. Thank you so much for indulging us in that game. We have about 15 minutes left. And so between um, Patricia and Bruce, um, I think we're going to talk about the uh, drop the charges rally and the results of that. So Bruce, you have seven or nine minutes. <laughs> and thanks to everyone on Facebook for participating too, and for Kelly and Patricia for monitoring the chat. I'm sorry about that. My phone had just froze up. Oh, you're good. So where are we at? We on the drop the charges. We are on the drop the challenge petition and rally that we, petition drop and rally that we just had. Petition. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, first off, thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all. Hey, that Jeopardy was super dope, y'all. That was super <laughs> duper dope. Um, drop the charges, um, rally and petition drop was absolutely amazing. Um, could not have happened without Mass Live Love um, from, you know, the the staff to the amazing, amazing volunteers who ain't volunteers, they family. So, um, super dope though. What we did was we, um, as y'all know, on 
Thursdays, we have been doing the uh, Drop the Charges text bank. And we have been collecting uh, petition signatures. And so far, we got uh, 5,285 signatures. Um, and so we decided to, um, what better way to deliver those than to deliver those, um, not just by email, but in person. And so um, we came together, we organized, we organized a, a rally um, slash press conference, which media did show up um, so we can have directly impacted people speak. Um, those who, who have been directly impacted by um, the political prosecutions. Um, and so we had our rally, we spoke, um, amazing rally. And then we marched to the, um, to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office with 5,285 uh, petitions that, that stood for each signature, right? So just imagine us walking with these, these boxes, there's boxes and boxes of um, papers um, of folks saying, hey, drop the charges. And not only drop the charges, um, but uh, stop the political prosecutions, um, disband the first responders unit, which was, which was uh, you know, responsible for uh, the investigations and so on and so forth with the protest um, and, and pay reparations to those um, directly affected, you know, um, by the political prosecutions. And so we walked into the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Um, what better way to hold them accountable by directly impacted people holding them accountable and going into to their comfort zone, right? And making them uncomfortable. Um, that's exactly what we did. Um, we in was we was delivering paper. <laughs> And y'all would have thought that, you know, um, like we just came with a full-fledged army, but we did come with an army, right? Um, we, we came with army of liberators. And so um, we went in, did our thing, came out, uh, we chanted. Am I, am I frozen? I'm good. Am I good, John? No, you're good. We can hear you. Okay. Um, but we chanted and we marched back and we, uh, we broke out from there. Um, it was just amazing direct action. Um, it, was, it was very thorough, it was to the point. It was, I mean, top to bottom. Um, it was just amazing. And it was amazing to be um, amongst Masslip family and for us to come together um, in that sense and be able to actually be in each other's presence. Um, you know, as we still fight through this pandemic, we did it in a very safe way. Um, and it was amazing, y'all. It was amazing. That's what direct action is about. Um, so y'all can look, you know, look forward to more, not only direct action, but direct actions, um, you know, centered around accountability um, and what we're going to do next when it comes to drop the actions. Was that good? That's perfect. And would you like to give within the time limit? Oh. Yes, yes. We could come through. Can you also give Patricia, a little? Patricia, I can do it. I can give do us it. a little shout what? out to your number two and number three who helped put all of this, all these little um swirling pieces with you. This could not have happened um, without without the squad, but specifically uh, Patricia, Bria, Lola. Um, they they were on it, and when I say they were on it, y'all like. You know, they got me, they had to get me together. They had to get me together. Cause I was like, hold on, that ain't how you, uh, They're like, no, nah, this how we do it. I'm like, okay, this how we do it. <laughs> and it worked, it worked. It was so amazing. And then the, then our, our mass live uh, volunteers, they were amazing. They were amazing, 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 amazing. I can't even stress that enough. Like, I think I'm still, I'm still just riding off all of those highs um, from that action. Cause it was just, Top to bottom, it was fire, y'all. I've been part of a lot of protests, but this might have been my favorite one. Thank you. <laughs> so it was super dope. Thank All you good. so much for y'all. So um, uh, I, I have so much I want to say, but I'm, we were running out of time, so I'm going to keep it to myself until the very end. Patricia, would you like to talk about our other our next victory? Because we had victories, y'all. It was victory after victory this week. And I will say like, yes, it matters that we got two more charges dropped. Yes, it matters we deliver those petitions. But for me, the biggest thing is this dang Maslib family that we have. 
the folks that are on this call, the folks out in Facebook land that showed up and rode so hard. I mean, the picture of Anisha and Ben walking in there with Bruce, it's like, Bruce, you couldn't hire better bodyguards like if you search the world. Like this team, thank you everybody so very much. And then the same thing goes, oh, it gives me goosebumps to think about. The same thing is true really for every project we do. So that um, community benefits agreement, finally, yes, it did pass really only because folks showed up to make it happen. Um, that Poppy, our People Over Properties initiative, really was born last year out of our values. Um, our People Over Property value, um, Joe decided, you know what, we need to grow this and really um, move it out into the community so we have a huge network of folks that are pushing to make people over property a reality instead of just a dream. And that's what's happening. Local organizations, community organizers, folks on the village planning committee, and even members that have been kicked off the village planning committee, residents of South Phoenix, and anyone who loves South Phoenix are coming together to participate and bring our abolitionist values to the inner workings of land development in South Phoenix, because we know who has been running that before? It's all of these despicable, wealthy white landowners like Greg Brownell, folks on council that have no idea the impact and ramifications of their choices that they're making have on black, brown, poor, indigenous, and directly impacted folks in Phoenix. So the People Over Property Initiative began and then um, Joe started networking with the developer for this 40th Street and Southern project. Um, the first hearing that we had was at the South Mountain Village Planning Committee. It did not pass there because Patty Trite and many other folks on there refused to listen to and support the work of Black and Directly Impacted Leadership. So it didn't pass. And then the developer realized, you know what? they really need um, our support against the opposition. So we started to fortify the movement and gather more folks that could support that community benefit agreement. It did pass the planning commission. And then of course, Wednesday, the day before our in-person rally, we had that virtual rally at formal city council. And to me, it's a miracle. Um, it should be obvious that the CBA would pass, but it passed unanimously. That means Sal voted yes, Jim, Deb, like they all voted yes. Um, and something to note that CBAs are um, very rare here in Arizona. If you think of the developers that are just hungry for money and power, they're just raising communities and then building up, you know, places in its stead that they can um, benefit from, that they can profit from. So this was a huge win for the community, not just because we got this community benefit agreement for this parcel of land on 40th and Southern, but because it's really setting a precedent. Now we can say to other developers, hey, this is happening. This is a thing. It passed through council. You need to work with the communities where you're building so that folks are benefiting from the developments that you want to create, not just so that your pocketbooks benefit. Um, so I think I should leave it there um, due to time. There's a lot more we can talk about. We will be building um, future relationships and all of your help is of course greatly appreciated. Um, this particular um, development won't really happen for two more years. You know, it takes a while to happen. So there is a lot of work to be done and we will be reaching out to all of you amazing folks to ask for your help in more agreements that we can come up with. Um, should I pass it back to you, Zoraida? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Patricia, for that really uh, beautiful and very concise, because I know you can go, you can do this all day, right? You and Bruce, both of you very much tapered yourself, so I appreciate that. For the sake of time, um, are there any questions in our, our Zoom or on Facebook about what we just talked about? No? Okay, well, um, today was really about recapping some major victories and just celebrating, so I want to thank y'all for being here and for partying with us and for trying out this new Zeppardy thing that we, we came up with. Fought the my giggling for, for about two days, after, actually, over how to make this fun, but also make it educational and like a fun little review. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for doing that. We do have a few calls to action. And before we take off, we're going to um, 
take a minute to celebrate in real time together again. So our calls to action are um, HB 203 has uh, passed the Senate and Senate Rules Committee and will be heard any day now by on the Senate floor. People, actually, you know what, I'm going to ask Bruce to talk about this because he does it actually way more eloquently, eloquently than I do. Bruce, do you mind if I put you on the spot really quickly? I got you. It's all good. Thank you. Um, HB 2309 um, is on the Senate. It, it's in the Senate. Um, we have been keeping that public pressure on, so continue to do that, y'all. Um, keep shaming them, keep letting them know that this bill is um, an attempt to um, chill our First Amendment. Um, and so, you know, we have the bit.ly, which is uh, bit.ly backslash block 2309. I think we got the link. Um, yeah, I think Vanessa's going to drop it right now. Okay, cool. Um, and so, yeah, just keep that going, y'all. Um, whenever you can, social media, social media, social media, that's our best bet right now. Um, and right now, um, 2309 is, is where we at. Um, and so we almost there. Session has, you know, you know, a couple more weeks if that left. Um, so let's, let's just keep fighting. Joe, but um, they're plating a ton of terrible bills, so I hope this doesn't come up. Nothing's dead until sign died. Yeah, yeah, nothing's dead until and time died. For those who don't know, means a uh, session is over. Um, that's when they, you know, sign out. So, and Petra's was absolutely right. And nothing dead until you know it ain't over to <laughs> it's over till they gavel out. And so we got to keep the pressure on. We definitely got to keep the pressure on. Um, and um, drop the, go ahead. No, I'm no, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, please go ahead no, and continue. I was just gonna say drop the charges. Um, I dropped the charges uh, action meetings are Tuesdays. Um, there's also a link for that, I believe. Um, and sign up, yeah, sign up uh, DTC. Thank you, Vanessa. Um, that's where we will um, be talking about the next steps of accountability when it comes to drop the charges. Um, what we're going to do, um, how we're going to hold these folks accountable, in particular, Alistair Dale, what better way to do that than a recall. But we'll talk more about that Tuesday when y'all join. So see y'all later. So the, the, one last thing, Bruce, you want to talk about a victory we found out about today for DTC? How many charges do we have left? Which one? Oh, we have one charge one left. One charge left. How many have we gotten dropped, Bruce? Over 3,000. Listen, listen, over three yeah. dozen, y'all. Yeah. And they said that we couldn't. They said that we couldn't do it. They said the organizing weren't gonna do it. They said the action wasn't. They said this is, yeah. Don't get me all emotional, but yeah. Have y'all seen that movie League of Their Own? One more, one more. <laughs> all right, listen, y'all. I appreciate you so much for being here. We're about to jam out on the way out the door. Love y'all so much. We'll hopefully see y'all tomorrow. Thank you for being here with us and all the beautiful victories we've had this week. Good times and bad. We love y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we have to get off Facebook so we don't get charged for this, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs>